world's moved on, Commander Bond. You a double O? Two years. You get in my way. I will put a bullet in your knee. Lashana, it's great to see you again. Good to see you. How you doing? <laughs> I am doing excellent, and I'm excited because I went back and watched our interview from last time we spoke, and that was at Captain Marvel. And I looked yes. at the date on it, and it was one month before you were announced as part of the cast of No Time to Die. And at the time I asked you, I said, you're in one of the most anticipated movies of the, t- of the year. That was Captain Marvel back in the day. I said, mm-hmm. how do you feel? And you were just like, I'm, I'm excited. I'm overwhelmed. This is great. I'm ex-. So now I ask you again, <laughs> how does it feel? This is like the movie that we've been waiting for. You're in it. Here it is. What are you feeling? I feel it's the same thing. I'm excited. I'm overwhelmed. I don't know what to say. La, la, la. Like, there's an amalgamation of feelings that I feel like have just exploded from me. They're just on the floor, and I kind of got to take my time to pick it up and see what they actually mean. Um, I, I don't know. I haven't, I haven't collected myself yet, but it is a ball of excitement. I'm very humbled and just excited for everyone to finally see it in the way that it deserves in the cinema with audiences, with the vibes that you feel in a, in a theatre. And um, yeah, just excited, just generally excited. Marvel movies, uh, going back to that Captain Marvel movie, you know, they're secretive. You know, you can't say anything about the scripts. You can't even tell friends and family you're in it. What was the secrecy like for No Time to Die? Were you able to tell anybody that you were in it, number one? Were you able to tell anybody anything about the story, your character, your role? Diddly. Not not a squeak. I told my mom throughout the, the audition process, I did tell her because... She's a vault just like me, so she's not going to tell nobody. Outside of that, I think I probably told, started telling friends halfway through stunt training, which was a couple of weeks. And then after that, no one knew anything. So everyone was literally getting information in real time with the world whenever it came out in the news. I have to ask about the emotions on the set, knowing that this is Daniel's last run as James Bond, 007. Mm. Uh, what did it feel like that last day that you worked with him? Well, I was there, but I wasn't in every scene. Um, and I feel like the weight of the night was that last moment, which you now see in in Becoming James Bond. He, um, throughout the shoot, none of us were anticipating the end. We stayed very present to what it was, the feeling of every moment, creating history, getting the stunts right, all of that, which is nice because one, we're not thrusting it in his face that <laughs> remember you're leaving in a few months, but also we just get to celebrate him in increments, which is nice. Uh, so that that last moment was really special. It was a night shoe. It was about between 1 and 3 a.m. somewhere. And for some reason, somehow we were just really alert, really excited, and everyone showed out to to share this special moment with him. And it just felt really humbling for me to be able to work with him and also to be able to be there on that last day that he made history as, as the James Bond. 